Pokemon community, I'm Lindsay Berg, three-time Olympian, two-time silver medalist. For this week's spotlight, we have Kennedy Orr. Kennedy is a setter for Mizuno Northern Lights. She just finished her junior year of high school and will be off to the University of Nebraska in the fall of 2021. So Kennedy, I saw a few highlights of you and they were quite impressive. Obviously your <laughs> setting is great, but that swing block that I saw, yep, I'm sure Nebraska can't wait to get you on campus and I'm sure you will make <laughs> an immediate impact. But let's get to these questions. So first, what do you miss most in general right now? Um, I think I just miss my teammates the most right now. Just having like a team aspect and ha having like a schedule to be on. And we are all so excited for the season because we did really well at the beginning. Um, and, and I mean, sadly, it's over now, but that's just what I miss the most. It's probably like my teammates and talking to them and like you see them every day at practice and you get to hear about their lives. And now it's just kind of like limited conversation. I know. Well, keep in touch with them because that yeah. is one of the most important things and you'll get back on the court hopefully sometime soon. Okay, on to the next. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, um, honestly, I've always grown up like m liking mashed potatoes. It's just kind of like a family thing. We just make like cheesy potatoes or mashed potatoes or baked potatoes. And that was by far my favorite food growing up. And I think it still is. So probably like mashed potatoes. All right, perfect. Yes. <laughs> Movies or books, and what is one of your favorites? Um, I think I watch more movies than I read books, but my favorite book, it's called like, it's a series. It's Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I read it a couple years ago, and it's super interesting, and I read the whole series so fast, so I'd say that's my favorite. Okay, and what are you watching right now, whether it's Netflix or Hulu or... <laughs> Um, right now, I am watching Dead to Me on Netflix, and it's kind of weird. I, I mean, I feel like I've gone through so many TV shows in these past couple of weeks, but um, it's really good. It's interesting and it has a lot of like cliffhangers, and that's kind of what I'm into when I'm looking for a show. So, yeah. Nice. I started watching it as well. I got to catch up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't play volleyball, what sport would you play? Um... I would love to be a gymnast. I think I'm too tall, but like watching the Summer Olympics, I mean, it's, it's a given that I love to watch volleyball in the Olympics, but watching gymnastics, I think is the coolest thing ever. And it's just like crazy how they just throw their bodies in the air and like do all these flips. And I think that'd be so cool. And they're so strong and crazy. They are. And did you play any other sports growing up? I, well, I think, I started playing gymnastics or doing gymnastics in like kindergarten, but then my mom took me out because I got too tall. Right. So then I joined swimming and basketball, um, just like in-house kind of, I was really young, but I started playing volleyball in fourth grade and I've only played that sport ever since. Amazing. What is one of your favorite volleyball memories? I would say, hmm. My favorite volleyball memory is probably going to Egypt with um, the youth national team. Um, I don't know. I just feel like we made so many memories and we accomplished a lot there. And like we trained so hard in the summer and for just a short amount of time, we got so much done. And it was so cool to be able to like come together as a team over there and um, go beat some teams who have been playing together for so long. So Yeah, I watched that match. And I believe you guys made history, correct? I know, that was awesome. cool. it was fun to watch and follow that. Okay, yeah. so what are you most excited for in college? Um, in college, I think I'm just excited for like the competitive spirit of the sport, especially in college volleyball. And it changes so much from like high school or club. And I really wanna be able to take advantage of that change and learn as a player and especially like um, just improving other sports or other parts of my game other than just setting because that's a big part of college I feel like to be like well well rounded so and what an incredible environment to do that in Nebraska they're not as many that um, great and inspirational and supportive so I went to a good one in Minnesota but the Big Ten has great support so 
All right. Who is your favorite national team player? Um, oh my goodness, there's so many. But I'd say my favorite is Jordan Poulter because we got to talk to her in Anaheim when we went there. And she just gave us, me and Cammy did, because um, we were the setters on the team at the time. And she just gave us so many like great tips because she was in the exact same position we were in. So it was really fun to talk to her and I watched her when she played at Illinois and I just thought that she like had amazing like form and the way she set and like led her team was so great. So. Yeah, Jordan's great. I've gotten to know her a little bit too for my project and I love interviewing her. All right, last one here. What has being in quarantine taught you? Um, I think being in quarantine has taught me a lot to like appreciate what I have and just for it was it's given me a good time to reflect on like how my life has been and reflect on goals that I want to accomplish for volleyball. So I've been writing some goals down and things like that. So it's taught me a lot about like being grateful and staying in the moment with the time I have. I love it. That is some good advice for everyone out there as well. Well, Kennedy, thank you for sharing with the Volleyon community today. Wishing you the best of luck in your volleyball career. Thank you so much. Thank you.